Every Thursday, I host a Zoom meeting so app members can ask me a question and they get their answers live in the meeting. This video is an excerpt from Ask the Doc live Q&A meeting. I'm 27 years old. I've been using steroids for like around a little over three years now. I was looking to compete. Um, last coach I had had me blast a lot of things for like eight months, like even to the point where I thought it was too much. He had me blast like, you know, in the span of like eight months, I used uh, test 500 milligrams um, for a whole eight months. Um, he had me use the Anabol one month, Amadrol one month, you know, Provirin, Mastodon, a little bit of Primo, um, Deca, and then the last thing I took was, um, was Trent for, for, for four months. Wow. So, in August, uh, my heart was feeling very tight. Like, I, I was, I was feeling, I don't know, it just felt tight. Uh, and, um, I went to, to the ER, they told me my blood work was good. The EKG, they told me it looked kind of normal, so they did an echo, and come to find out, I had, um, LV, um, ejection fraction was low. Wow. On um, 36%. Jesus. So, that was in August. I went, I went back for another, um, echo in November. It was still the same, so they upped my dose. Um, and Tresto, and, um, Metoprolol. Metoprolol. And Tresto and Metoprolol. And um, I didn't take on, um, the coach had told me to take, well, he was blasting me and all that. He told me to take on um, Telmasarin. I live in New York. I wasn't able to get my hands on it. So I, was, I guess that would have helped protect a little bit. But um, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Oh, brother. So I don't have anything. My real yeah. love is protecting hearts for men, you know, on steroids. So, so 27-year-old guy that did the usual, you know, medley of polypharmacy, you know, with stacked steroids, but you're you're just doing the average, you know, stuff, which is not even that much compared to some guys. And you're not even 30 and you have, you, you suffered something that Dr. Aaron Bagish, it's a colleague of mine at Harvard has done research papers on specifically anabolic steroid uh, uh, issues uh, causing uh, congestive heart failure. You have, you have congestive heart failure. The normal ejection fraction is 50 to 70, and if you're under 40, that's really low, and if you're under 35, they're gonna put a, a defibrillator in you. There's seven types of cardiology doctors now, if not more. You need to go to a heart failure doctor. Now, you're, you may be at that doctor, so listen to that doctor. This is extreme because it usually doesn't happen this easily because otherwise no one would do steroids. You need to go to your doctor and say, I want to be cared for by a board certified heart failure cardiologist. Now, the esoteric stuff, you could have amyloidosis, you could have sarcoidosis. I've seen it because now you have a guy that's too young. He did the steroids, but he should have bounced back. He didn't do that much. He didn't do, I mean, compared to what the fuck is going on out there. So I think they're missing something and your, your doctor is gonna probably get to that, but it's just, it may take them too long. You're on Entresto, and Entresto's a specialized drug. Now, you're not gonna, you're, sir, you're not gonna tell the doctor to, to give you, um, you know, Telmasarin or something because it's built into the Entresto. Guys, this is a good question. Let me address the next question part to this, which is, which I've, it, the doctor is not going to feel comfortable dealing with. If you have anabolic steroid induced hypogonadism, your testosterone levels are low, you, you, you're going to need to consider either staying off testosterone for a year or so and, and seeing if you come back, or in my opinion, you could safely go on a little bit of testosterone so you have muscle, so you have sex drive and you, and you feel, don't feel depressed. Now, but it's not gonna be 500 a week, brother, and I know you know that. So you've been off steroids and testosterone for four months. Okay, you need to check your testosterone levels and then bring it to someone's attention. Unfortunately, you know that those doctors are gonna be like, you know, they, they're, they're, but they're gonna refer you to endocrinology. Now we're going into a fucking rabbit hole. And so in the end, I will tell you that 
you really need to wait a full year or even more? Don't and no PC. There's no PCT at this point. PCT four months later with putting res irrespective of fertility for this young man, this is where I'm the number one expert in the world on the anabolic steroid recovery stuff. And the, endo the, the endocrinology guys don't know anything. And the cardiology guy's going to say, go back to your doctor. They're going to want to stay away because of the, 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 the intravascular edema and the hypertension. But, but the truth is, if you're, if you're intact, hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis is blown out from what you've done, which it might, it, it probably is to some degree, and you don't come back. I have had hundreds of guys like you with heart failure, with bypass surgery, and all sorts of things that are even worse, kidney disease, and you, you're gonna need to potentially go on some testosterone, but with an ejection fraction of less than 40, we have to be very careful. You know, and they, they need to discover, this is why I love this case, because I'm a, I love, I'm a cardiac lover. I'm, a inter, I'm an internal medicine doctor, I'm not a cardiologist. But I love the heart, and obviously I'm an internist. So I know that he needs recovery time, and I've seen with the proper medications and recovery, your heart should come back. But the fact that it didn't come back in four months and your ejection fraction is still under 40 on Entresto and Metoprolol, that, that, that's, I, I would want, if I'm your doctor, which I'm not, I'm an education guy here, if I was your doctor, and I've done this for many men over 20 years, I would make sure that you're going right to the best heart failure cardiology doctor. The most important thing this guy has is he's young. He has tons of health reserve, but there, there may be something they're missing. Guys, that's why you need to ask these questions. The educated consumer man like this is gonna be, the doctor is gonna be like, how the fuck do you know this stuff? He probably won't say Yeah. All right.